Hello everybody, it's Lily here. Long time no see. Uh, today I'm going to explain how I went from a 1 terabyte hard drive to a 240 gigabyte SSD. Uh, I wanted this upgrade because, well, it was due to do something to my computer. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's not, it's actually pretty easy to migrate your Windows to a new hard drive. Uh, and there's everything I use is a free tool and that's my you got mail message hello AOL anyway um, what I did was uh, I went to Amazon bought myself a Kingston Digital HyperX Predator 240 GB PCI card I didn't get a SATA card because my motherboard is old and only goes up to SATA 2 so that's not very good for speed and would be a waste of money to get a SATA 3 just to have bottleneck speeds uh, so there's a couple of steps that you'll have to go through to make sure this is a successful migration the first thing you want to do is just back up your installation one of the tools that I use for that and pretty much the best tool that I've encountered is Clonezilla. What you do is you download the stable release and you burn it to a CD. Um, you pop it in your CD drive, you boot up from it, and you basically back up the whole entire hard drive onto an external hard drive. Uh, and You can use Clonezilla to lay down a backup if anything were to go wrong with this migration. Um, so yeah, once you get that back up, uh, you can insert the SSD in the tower while it's off, preferably. Boot up Windows again. And this is where we will start to clean up our Windows installation. Um, go into Windows, uh, add, well, programs, remove uh, features blah blah, remove any programs that you don't use uh, especially big programs once that's finished you can go into the disk cleaner and you go into that by just going to uh, this PC right click on the C drive, go into properties click disk cleanup Depending how fast your system is, this can take a while to scan. And it will have selected uh, everything that you pretty much do not need. You can click OK and it will delete those, but what we want is some more temporary files. So click the clean up system files. This is going to scan what Windows update packages you may have downloaded. Um, it's going to find old Windows installations. Even if you have a Windows 10, uh, major updates create the folder all over again. So you may want to check this from time to time. Uh, so yeah, Windows, the folder would be in here if I had it, but I don't. Um, you can just click OK and it will clean what you don't need. This will go qu pretty quickly for me because my C drive is now the SSD. Alright, you just click OK and you can close this now. Another tool that will get rid of what Windows tools missed is CCleaner. Um, you can download the portable version so that you don't have to install a program. You can just shift delete it once you're finished with it. And then another uh, even better program that will delete what C cleaner is missed is Bleach Bitch. Bleach Bit. It also has a portable. So you just download it and extract it into a folder and then shift delete it once you have used it to delete all the temporary files that you don't need. And once you have done that, 
you need to create a partition. So what you need to do is just search for disk management. Well, actually not disk management, computer management. And just click on it. In here, disk management is listed. This is going to show all the disks that are connected to your computer. Here is my former one terabyte hard drive. So what you're going to need to do is click on the one terabyte hard drive in here and then right click on it and then you click shrink volume. What you're going to do is you want this to be the maximum and you just click shrink Once that finished, you're going to have unallocated. You right click on it, make it a simple volume. Then you'll be able to format it as NTFS. And then you will be able to move some files onto it. What I moved onto it is my Steam games. And where that is located. I also, by the way, made the same file structure. So yeah, the Steam, the Steam uh, folder, I believe that you need to move over is Steam Apps. You basically just copy and paste it over, and then you have to uninstall Steam, and then reinstall Steam into this folder, so that it'll find this. You launch Steam, Steam will verify the download folders, and then you won't have to download your games again, which is always great. And then you can move over anything else that you want, like documents, or, um, anything and everything that will fit to make this C drive, sm uh, to make your C drive small enough so that it will fit. So even after you're done that, for some reason this tool doesn't let you go beyond a certain point of shrinking. So what we need to do is download a third party tool. It's called EZUS Partition Master Free Edition. It's a really nice tool to have. I mean, it can format broken USB sticks to try to fix them. Here it is loaded up. It'll show um, everything here. You'll notice that it, it has an option to do this, but th I've discovered that for some reason it wasn't working on my machine but I'll get to that later. Um, what you would want to do is just right click on the partition that you want to shrink so it would be your one terabyte drive and you just click sh uh, resize it'll give you an option with a slider and at this point if it's not getting small enough you need to move more data off uh, via external hard drive if you ran out of space on your newly created partition um, you just have to get it down so that you can migrate it to the smaller I managed to get mine down to 90 gigs the smaller you make it the faster the migration will go so uh, once you apply the changes it's going to reboot your computer and 
and um, you'll need to install this great software that migrates your Windows install very easily. Macroom Reflect. So if we were to pretend this was my one terabyte partition, well, hard drive, there would be another partition. You would not want to check that one. You just need the first two. Um, this one, Windows needs to boot. The other software wasn't copying this over correctly for whatever reason. So this is why we need this software. And all you need to do is just tell it to migrate. And what does this say? No, that's not what I want. Yeah. Yep, sorry, it's been a while since I used this. You just click clone this disk. And then it's going to ask you where you want to clone it to. And you would select the SSD. And then, depending on your computer speed, it might take an hour and a half or so. Once it's finished, you can reboot your computer. Go into the BIOS settings. Change the boot priority to your SSD as number one and then just have it boot up on the SSD if it works you're in the clear to wipe the one terabyte drive using the ease US partition tool um, you just have to verify that you're actually using your SSD and you should notice the much faster boot time and that's how you'll notice right away So yeah, you delete the ter you, you just delete the uh, remaining partition off of the terabyte drive. You expand it so that you can use the whole drive for storage, and then you'll be able to, uh, you know, reinstall Steam. Um, you can even link your shortcuts. or change them completely to point to the, the storage drive. And then you'll be on your merry way to a much quicker and faster computing experience. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for watching the video. Sorry if it's uh, rambling or not. If it's rambly rambling but it's late so a little tired if it didn't make sense here's my notes that I did well that I talked about and kind of demonstrated for you all uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time see ya